Okay, uh, so in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an interactive gallery uh, and also incorporate it with the Dreamweaver um, responsive design layouts. So again, the first thing we want to make sure that we're doing right away to, is to manage the site and make sure you're pointing to the root folder that has all the CSS and JavaScript files. So that is the first thing you want to make sure that you do. Uh, the next step, I'm going to make a new document. Make sure it's HTML and make sure it's set to bootstrap. And the design, basically, you want to make a new, create new, and make sure that the design option is not checked. I'm going to say create. And basically, there is nothing on that page. And I'm going to quickly save this document into my root folder, and I'm going to call it gallery. So just to look at, looking at the code here, I'll see that I have um, basically reference to the bootstrap files already populated in my head tag. And I have the JavaScript link as well. And I'm going to come back here and kind of double check it and I'll see that it's already included in the CSS and also included it in the J JavaScript folder, the bootstrap files. So that is the first thing you want to always double check. And I'll see that I have my body tag and I have my HTML. So I'm going to move this down. So as I mentioned in the last class, um, you always want to make sure to have a, a container div that's going to include every single item that you're going to have on your web page. It's almost like having a suitcase that's going to carry whatever it is that you're going to be um, traveling with. So that's you want to make sure the container is also you include it on the page right after the body tag. So once you click it, you always want to make sure you click your cursor where you want to insert whatever component of the bootstrap is that you want to add to the page. So from here, again, make sure you have your files and panels visible. Choose insert and I'll double check the location of my um, cursor and I'll click on container fluid. As, as soon as you do that, automatically you'll see that it populates the container div and this is the closing div of your web page. So one thing that is really, really important that you do, and you see these comments that Dreamweaver has already added for us, you want to make sure to move the closing div, Command X, move it and put it all the way at the bottom of your um, uh, body tag. Actually, let's see where. So we have the body tag, and then we have, to, we want to put it above the body tag. I'm just going to do that. And one thing that, again, is crucial when you start doing complex web pages, you want to make sure you leave yourself comments, just like Dreamweaver has left you comments in gray. So, because you're going to have on complex web page, you're going to have hundreds of divs, right? You want to know where absolute closing div tag. It's almost like the lock on your uh, suitcase. So the way you add comments is um, from the left panel here. Uh, you see there is an exclamation mark. It says apply comment. If you click it, it automatically like fills in this gray uh, line. And if it's this darker gray value, means that nobody can see it except you. So it's not visible to anybody else except you. So on this one, I'm going to just choose closing container div tag. So that is very important. I'm also going to copy this line and just come back all the way up to where I added the div. So the body goes here, so I'm going to just add the closing container div, and I'm just going to just say opening. So this is just so that when you start like adding material to your page, 
you're not going to be overburdened by not knowing where you're going to put certain items and if they and you want to make sure that everything is residing within that container div okay the next thing i'm going to again make sure i'm clicking so i move my i may i'm going to double check my work once once again come back down here i have my container div that looks good everything looks really good i'm going to come back up and i'm going to click within the um, container div right above it and this time I'll just add a carousel. Actually, yeah, you can just add a carousel. Um, I'm gonna add a navigation first actually. So let's add a navigation and then add a carousel. Um, I so if you added it by mistake, you can just do command Z, command Z, and you go back and it just automatically deletes it. I'm going to come back down here and I'm in my nav. Again, make sure you click in the code path. Make sure you're clicking. And also in your dome right here, you'll see that automatically it gets highlighted as far as the identifying the location of your uh, cursor. So I'm going to just click on basic nav. Again, it populates it right away. And once again, I'm going to just go and quickly, so it's just, um, so, so that's the closing of the nav. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to just paste, you know, just after the nav, after the container fluid, I mean, just copy and paste whatever the div was, and then change the information to match what you have in there. So that would be opening nav div, right? So again, these, these comments become crucial when you start adding a lot of material to a page. And once again, if you highlight the actual in the dome, if you click on the nav right here, automatically highlights your entire code for you. So it's a really helpful way to kind of jump around uh, without sort of uh, having to go back and forth within the code panel. So as soon as I highlighted it, it just showed me, say, okay, this is the closing of your nav. I'm going to paste the, in the code, and this time I'm going to say closing nav div tag okay so i have my nav everything's just looking good i'm gonna go ahead and add the carousel now so again if you click on the nav it just highlights everything and takes me to the very end so i i know exactly where i need to add my next line of code which is right here so I'm going to go ahead and make sure, again, click inside the code panel. And you'll see that automatically this part, like, it's highlighted. And it just says, OK, you have like a bunch of scripts. But anything else you want to add, you should add it after whatever that highlight was. Again, I'm going to click in that section. And I'm going to go to the, the carousel and double click it. And it'll add the carousel to the page after the um, navigation. Once again, I'm going to copy this line of code <coughs> and I'll just come back here, paste it and closing or opening and it would be carousel. And once again, I'm going to copy this line of code. Again, if I click in the dome, automatically Dreamweaver highlights the entire carousel code. It takes me all the way to the end. It says, this is the end of your carousel. What do you want me to do? I'm going to just click below it, below the last div, and put in my comment. And this one would be closing. So it's a lot of 
copying and pasting. Again, this becomes crucial when you have a lot of content on your page. So the last bit is I'm going to once again click on the dome, go all the way. It shows me the closing of the carousel. I'm going to go right below it. And this time I'm just going to add like a text div. So I think it was um, grid row with column. So I'm going to just click on this grid row and it says by default it's set to three. I'm going to change it to one and I'm just going to say, you know, put it after and I'm going to go ahead and say okay and it'll just puts it right here for me. Once again, it'll, I'm going to move the, the closing div of this row. I'm going to move it down because remember, I'm going to put in the images in between the opening and the closing. And also, once again, I'm going to apply the code so I know exactly what I'm changing and where I'm putting things. So this one, I'm going to copy this code, come back right after, it's op you know, just the opening tag, I'm going to say opening. And this was, would be, um, I'm going to say row, row gallery, so that I know that's the gallery, div tag, copy it, come back, and put right above the closing of its div, I'm going to paste it, and I'm just going to say closing. So basically, it's a lot of copying and pasting. I'm going to save. Just do a quick preview, just to see what I'm looking at, if everything's looking good. Oh. Just grab it from here. Yeah, looking good. I have my drop down, I have my text, and so on. So everything is looking as I intended for it to look. So now um, I'm going to add the um, Lightbox slideshow inside the row div. And as soon as I click it here, so you'll see that I have my, you know, it highlights the information. And basically, this is where I'm going to be putting it. Actually, there is two divs kind of there are two closing divs let me work in there are two divs here you see there's one row and one class so you want to make sure you put both of the this other one the closing one you want to move it right down next to the other one as well so it should be like this so you have one div class row and then another div class column. So for so you will always want to count. So there's two of them opening, then you want to make sure that you have the two of the closing at the bottom as well. Okay. Now uh, let me just open this up. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to save my file. I'm going to go back to the folder where I have the index of the code pen. I'm going to open up the index page. So there's a couple of sets of code that I need to copy and paste to make sure that the slideshow is going to work correctly. So in the head tag, of the um, fancy box, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna also add comment here. Um, opening. Open light. I just put called light box. So this is the code for opening of the light box, and this is the code for closing of the light box. So I'm going to copy the code from opening to closing of the light box. 
go back to my index, my gallery page, go back all the way to the head tag, all the way above, and then simply paste it in there. I'm going to save it, then come back here. Once again, copy everything that's located inside the body tag here. So it's going to be, you don't want to copy the body tag, you just want to copy what's inside of it. Come back to your gallery and then locate the um, this content part and you want to paste it in there. And then I'm just going to quickly test it. Oops. So I have my gallery. Um, I can make it full screen. I can, you know, have horizontal versus vertical pictures. I have my nav and I have uh, my carousel. So I'm going to stop the